Hey everyone, it is I, Scar Hero, and in case you are unaware, I'm a massive fan of Mission Ozaku Family. I have been since Chapter 1 released back in August of 2019, and that is why I am very excited to watch this new trailer for the anime adaptation uh, that comes out April 7th, 2024. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be reacting to this trailer, going to be sharing my thoughts on it, and uh, the only thing I've seen from this trailer is the preview images in uh, this week's uh, issue of Jump. But besides that, I have no clue what's going to be on here. So um, let's get into it. Gotta make sure it's full screen. Ooh, oh, oh. <laughs> let me Let me fix the volume. All right, again, there's going to be no subtitles in this, so I'll have to rely on my um, prior knowledge unless they do have English subtitles. Oh, they do. They have English subtitles at the ready. This is great. Uh, yeah, let's get into it. If it'll load. Oh, the car The emotions! They're definitely leaning more into the emotions this trailer. Zero. <laughs> Everyone looks so good. The music! The opening! Yay! <laughs> Goliath driving? I am... I'm starstruck. So, immediately, let's, let's kind of break this, um, break this trailer down. Um, we'll start at the beginning. Um, let's lower the playback speed uh, so we can really absorb, maybe not that low, but a little slower to absorb everything that's going on. First off, when I first read chapter one of Mission Uzaka Family, this scene is what really gripped me. Like, thi like this face Tayo makes, so seeing this right off the gate, this, this is great. They're really nailing the emotions of the scene. Um, the music really accompanies that. I also like seeing like the canon hair colors of the family members, like because we've we've never seen them in color uh, before, so that's that's nice to see. We see we the music continues and then we cut to Kyoichiro. So we go from that emotionalness to. All right. So I will say this, in terms of the art and animation, how do I say this? I'm not going to sit here and act like, oh my God, this is the best animated thing I've ever seen, you know? Like I'm going to be genuine here. Um, some of this does look a bit flat, not bad looking, but does look a bit flat. 
but there are some really good shots here too. Um, again, I love the music. I remember this shot, uh, this panel in the manga. Um, I like how it looks. It's not... Again, how do I say this? It's like... I don't want to say average, but it's not bad. Um, it, it's good. I'll, I'll say it's good. I really like the character designs. And I think, like, shots that are more, like, focused on one character, I think they look significantly better. Um, probably because they're more, like, close-up shots. Um, oh, that shot right there with Tayo shooting Yai. That's, that's everything I needed. Um, <laughs> this is great. The song, the song is catchy. I do like a lot of people worried about like, okay, so Mission Yuzako Family is a gag series, partially. Um, that's a big aspect of it though. So for um, the animators to be able to pull these like off these um, off model, uh, designs of the characters that's great like look how big Tayo said is there like it really it nails the goofy tone i like this shot too we're hearing the entire family and there's a yaka it's nice to see her uh she looks great yes yeah, man I like how we have this high-speed car chase that wasn't in the manga, uh, and then Kyori Chiro, and then Goliath. Like, it, I, I just I love this so much. They're really nailing more than anything. They're nailing the tone of the series. Uh, I think that's something they have down to a T, which I really appreciate as a big fan of the series. Because even if it did have like the most gorgeous animation ever, that wouldn't mean much if the tone of the original story was absent. And then here we have Tayo um, grabbing the ring. It looks decent. And then we have the ending scene. It's, I mean, it sounds like I've listened to songs from both uh, Chico and Iko Monogakuri. Uh, both of them, I mean, like. Here's another thing. It's streaming also on uh, Prime Video and Netflix. Um, I wonder what that means for English-speaking fans. Uh, th this is definitely, like, you know, a Japanese trailer. So um, I'm unsure if it's, like, ex streaming there exclusively in Japan, or is that going to extend to where it streams uh, uh, in other countries around the world as well? <laughs> very wholesome so this trailer really focuses on the comedic tone of the beginning of this series uh, as well as at the start of the trailer the emotional tone of um, chapter one which I really appreciate uh, obviously it, manga readers know how more action focused the series goes as it goes on and uh, with an interview in an interview with the director Mirai Minato uh, she mentions how uh, she does want to include some visual style changes to accommodate for that, um, the more action oriented um, parts of the story. Um, but here we are seeing the more lighthearted, comedic, um, wholesome part of the series, which is great. I think it looks how it should. All the character designs look great. The animation looks solid um again yeah it, it looks solid um it makes me happy as a manga reader to see uh the characters moving 
I like that impact frame with Tayo um, firing Yai. That's 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 good. And it looked like it looked like he was blasting someone too. It also seems they're, they're really expanding upon the series, which I love. Like, it's not, it, it doesn't seem like just the one to one ratio adaptation to me. Like, it's like they're adding some stuff. They're trying to make it visually interesting. You especially see that uh, during that little uh, car chase scene. Uh, that I'm assuming that takes place during chapter two because that's the only time I can think of where uh, that's like the setting. Uh, but, and then Kyoichiro. The steel spider looks thick there, um, but still, like, it, it doesn't look thick throughout. Like, if you look at uh, his steel spider usage in, like, chapter one, uh, that, that looks about the same um, thickness as, you know, it should. Uh, I guess he's just doing something different during that scene, which, again, is cool. Different isn't always bad. Um, and, yeah, I... This is, this is great stuff. A great trailer. Nothing absolutely unexpected, um, but it looks like a faithful adaptation for a series that I love. And again, as a fan, I couldn't ask for much more. Um, so yeah, that, that is a great trailer. Um, man, I'm definitely going to be rewatching it in my own time. Uh, I'll, I'll definitely be focused on this for the next few hours. Anyways, that'll be all for uh, this reaction video. Thank you all for watching and uh, enjoying this trailer with me. And um, look forward to the Mission Yuzakura family anime uh, this April. Later.